Can you cure kidney disease? We're going to talk about that and more coming right up. Hello, Kidney Warriors. James here from Dadvice TV, your online kidney health coach. And this is video number 82 in my journey from kidney failure to kidney great. Now, not a day goes by that I'm not asked about a cure for kidney disease. Either people see a comment on social media, they did some research and saw something, or they're just wondering, can you cure kidney disease? Well, let's take that question and let's answer it. Now, let's start with some groundwork. Who the heck am I to answer this question? Well, I'm not a doctor. The only medical training I get is when I go and I get my first aid training redone every year. I am a kidney patient. I was diagnosed stage five kidney failure, told I had zero chance of improving, that I would need dialysis, and eventually a transplant. I'm a super nerd. Ooh, and I use that super nerd ability. I love data and I can see patterns pretty easy. And I use that in my research to try to find alternatives to dialysis here in the United States. I trust and leverage medical professionals, especially the secret medical professional that all of you should be using to help you live an amazing life with kidney disease. That's a renal dietitian. So a year and a half has gone by since I've been diagnosed with stage five kidney failure. Where am I today? Stage three. But most importantly, or more importantly, I don't have a single symptom. You wouldn't even know I had kidney disease if you met me, except that I like to talk about it a lot and help encourage others to improve their quality of life. So I'm now stage three. Does that mean my kidneys got better? Did some of that physical damage somehow magically repair itself? Did I find a secret combination to fix things? No. The physical damage to your kidneys when you have chronic kidney disease is permanent. There is no cure. There is no undoing the physical damage. There is no repairing or unclogging the physical damage. The physical damage to the blood vessels. We're talking, um, you know, they, they break, they get scar tissue. The nephrons, those clusters of blood vessels that filter things through, when those get damaged, they're damaged for the rest of your life. My kidneys today are just as bad as when I spent a week in the ICU for kidney failure. All right, now I know some of you may be confused right now. You may be thinking, James, I swear you told us your GFR was going up. I saw the graphs on your website, dadvicetv.com. Yes, my GFR has gone up. My GFR is 33 and I'm feeling fantastic. But GFR is not a measurement of kidney damage. It measures how well your kidneys are filtering certain waste products, typically creatinine, from your bloodstream not how damaged your kidneys are. So you can still have those damaged kidneys in your GFR improve. Symptoms lower, maybe even completely disappear. Now I wanna make sure it's perfectly clear. There is no way to repair or restore the physical damage to your kidneys. The scar tissue, the damaged nephrons, those filters that get rid of the waste and toxins from your blood, you cannot repair those. There is no restore, there is no cure, there is nothing out there to undo the physical damage. So how is it that my GFR has gone up so much in just a year and a half with the same damaged kidneys? Well, this is where you can make a difference. I made simple lifestyle changes. I learned about nutrition from professionals. I based my diet on my labs. Pretty much in short, I reduced the burden 
that I placed on my kidneys so that they can better keep up with me. I learned what my body needs and I give it to it and I don't give it too much. There's a certain amount of sodium that I need every day. I get that, not too much. I give my body potassium, but not too much. I give my body phosphorus, but not too much. I watch my blood sugar. I watch my blood pressure. Working with a renal dietitian made all of this so simple to do. It's not hard. And the results for me, and there's some luck involved. It's not all, there's not a one thing that's going to work for everybody. But for me, the results of these small changes to my life, we're not needing dialysis. We're not suffering symptoms of kidney disease. It was getting a second chance to live the rest of my life. And it's so worth it. And it all came down to really just a few simple things that I did. Can you improve your labs this way? Probably, but we're all a little different. The first thing I did was I managed my underlying cause to prevent further kidney damage. And then I made those lifestyle changes. I made those diet changes and I keep tweaking it so that I can reduce the burden placed on my kidneys. And there's a little bit of luck involved. It's not gonna work for everyone. There's no guarantees in life. But while we cannot cure kidney disease, remember that was the question we started with. There is no repair in the physical damage. It is possible in many cases to slow down or even stop, halt the progression of your kidney damage. And with a bit of luck, you can even reverse it a bit and regain some of that kidney function. Do what I've done, you know, my, you know, I'm reducing the burden on my kidneys and my GFR, my labs are looking better, my symptoms gone, but I still have the exact same damaged kidneys. And if I go back to my old ways where my diet isn't working with a, a renal dietitian, it's working with Sarah Lee and Colonel Sanders and the Burger King. I'm going to be back there at, at failure land with, you know, kidneys that just aren't working. I'm going to overburden what my kidneys can handle. Chances are my blood pressure is going to skyrocket. I'm going to start doing more damage and I will have to use dialysis. So I hope that answered the question. Can you cure kidney disease? No, the physical damage it's there forever, but that doesn't mean you cannot do anything to try to help improve your overall health and your kidney health by reducing the burden placed on your kidneys. When you see someone trying to sell a cure, a restore, or a fix, pass it up, save your money, put your effort towards learning about nutrition and exercise and working with the renal dietitian and better communication with your healthcare team, that's where you're going to see the progress. And it's going to end up costing you so much less than buying these fake cures that aren't going to do anything. Heck, they might even accelerate your kidney damage and get you to a worse place. And remember, if you need help, you need some support, you need some cheering on, you've got the entire Dadvice TV community here. We are an amazing community supporting and helping each other because we all want to kick kidney disease to the curb. All right, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Another way to help support Dadvice TV is through YouTube memberships. Click the join button below to learn more about it and how you'll get to interact with me even more. Again, thanks for watching.